Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. Good afternoon, Bamba Okiowu. Good afternoon, Tony Kafayat. Good afternoon, Adesina Kemi. Mr. Okitade, good afternoon. Banki ADBC, good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of you coming on board. Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. I said to myself, I need to quickly come on board to come and quickly talk to you on this. I came on to YouTube yesterday evening. You know, I discussed briefly. Yala J. Oto Jometama. Oto Jometama. Timmy Tiri, you know, in platform me. Oto Ojo Tree. Bless you, all of you, for coming on board. Bless you. I will not start to talk until we are out, up to a certain figure. If this is really important to people that want to hear it, then let us share it now. Let them have it now. And come and hear me directly. I am not saying that I am the case or I am the owner of the information. But come and hear me directly. So you will hold on to what, it, what you need to know. So please like and share and let people quickly hear us out. You know, I am very busy from this end. But I took part of my time for lunch to come and quickly uh, deal with this. So please, 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 please like and share. I want to talk about the 10 years illegal immigrant um, um, thing that people are sending out there on the indefinite leave to remain permanent residents on people that have been in the UK for 10 years. I want to talk about it quickly. Good afternoon. Tukumbo Olagbaye is my name. LTO. Lawyer Tukumbo Olagbaye. That's my name. On my YouTube, if you have not joined, go and join Brightway Immigration there. Go and join it. Although Lawyer Tukumbo Olagbaye is also on YouTube, but majorly it is Brightway that is really taking the priority on YouTube because Lawyer Tukumbo take priority on Facebook. So she is taking priority on YouTube, uh, Brightway. So please like and share quickly. Thank you, Aduke Onitemi. Wow, I like that, Uruko. <laughs> I like that, Uruko. Aduke Onitemi. <laughs> I like that. That's an Ola Olowo Shile. Thank you. Good afternoon. Taiwo Salvador. Thank you. Laya Martins. Aduke Onitemi. Thank you. Okpoye Mi Samson. Thank you. Please like and share. Eje ka so once and for all. Okay, kusi bete ya ban so. Let's like and share quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's let's like and share quickly. Thank you, thank you. Uwa eposa. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Oju loge fala shade titemi. Thank you. How are you? Yemi owo labi. Thank you. Topsy cool. Thank you, dear. Lincoln. Kidikia, thank you. Olaleka Matthew, thank you. Welcome on board, all of you. Olaleka Matthew, thank you. Welcome on board, all of you. Olaleka Matthew, Yoruba is my lang from uh, by my tribe. Miss Faith Adiola Rogers, thank you. Glorious Sharon, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Omo Shalewa Bankole, thank you. Akim Adewale Adekoya, thank you. Thank you. Idayat Eniola Lohoshile, please like and share. Like and share. If you really need this information, please like and share. The WhatsApp is going round and round and round. So let's let's talk about it quickly now. Omoshaliwa um, Bank yes, glorious. Thank you. Yuloge, thank you. Ruth Omoshede um, Ibude, thank you. Please like and share quickly, quickly, quickly. And you can benefit from this information. Don't be too selfish and keep keep things to yourself all the time. Kudos to all of you that shared me all the time on your platform. You will never be hidden on, on the day of your joy uh, 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 on the day of your joy. Let's look at it from that way. You will never be eating on the day of your joy. All of you that share this program, that always share me all the time, and are proud of me, I'm proud of you as well. You will not be hidden on the day of your joy. Nobody will hide you. Nobody will put you elsewhere. You will not be abandoned. You will not be hospitalized on the day of your joy. People will see you and, glory, and glorify God in your life. Oh, yes, I stand corrected. I'm a child of God. There has to be a sign of God in my life when I speak. In a bottom of down, let me There has to be a sign of God in me. So, ladies and gentlemen, please like and share. We haven't got to the stage I'm looking for. If you really want this information, we need to move it further quickly. Like and share, please. All of you that like and share me all the time, you will not be hidden on the day of your joy. And on the day of your children's ceremony, you will not be in hospital. Oh, yes. 
you will be people will elaborate you people will congratulate you they will celebrate you they will they will they will rejoice with you because you are always 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 appreciating the work of god it is not my work you are appreciating and in the run initial and bear christian tell you my jeff do my love is on me it is god that asked me to do it and i'm doing it and i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it it's not about money all the time i mean motor will love anybody ara ko ni sele si la yemi gbogbo e ko lo wo 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 ba mi wa to pe if you take the money priority you will fall like an idiot if you believe in the power of money you will fall completely e ya subu ko ni le dide a ni subu da ogo wa danu a ni subu dojo eye wa owo ni gbe wa subu o because owo ni keke yin rere and owo is evil money is evil it is good to have money but you have to you have to tread carefully you know when you want to have money you have to really tread it carefully you know we will not fall for enemy to smile or to laugh over us laye laye ko ni sele ola inu kan ni je ko sele agbare idumare a ni subu dogo wa danu agbare idumare welcome aboard o tell your la abi oyo to la se sophie exiba laye martins fatima bin tu rosolu Welcome on board. Like and share. Ladies and gentlemen, like and share. We want to talk about the issue of 10 years illegal immigrants that people are passing the WhatsApp around heavily. My phone is heavy. Thank God I have most sophisticated phones. I have most the most sophisticated phones. Talk about it. iPhone X, Samsung X Edge, you know, and then this one is called a uh, Y uh, Pro 20 as well. So I can vividly say I have the most sophisticated because of the work I do all the time in the public. I must have the instrument to cater for it. And the minimum, the cheap, the minimum of them is 64 gigabytes in standing. So I have the most sophisticated to use to do this work all the time. If not, the public will have finished my phone uh, thing because they send me WhatsApp all the time that are not really important. They're not relevant. They're useless. But sometimes some of the informations are very important to, for the public use. They are very important. Online, no content. We talk about Isaiah Ibrahim. Online, no content. Benny, Benny, Yami. I do care only to me. Oru ko ya I like it. I do care only to me. Show ara eni to loru ko ya o taleni ya. Mary Abasa, the Omole, thank you. If you are Yarua, not those computer village boost mobile. Exactly. Did you want to start this talk now? If you are is that what you want to start this afternoon? Pius, Gochuku, thank you. Pius, thank you. You follow me, I follow you. I follow your progress. I follow everything you do, everybody. When I see you connecting, I follow you rigorously. I see you and I sight God in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are talking about Pepsi, Pepsi, Oba, Pepsi, Dara. Festos Owofasa, thank you. Taiwo Alanyin Kadeshina, thank you. Like and share. I want to debunk it quickly. Like and share. There are too many analysis that are supposed to come on board. But you know, I don't bring out stupid analysis until the many. But let's talk about the 10 years illegal immigrants in the United Kingdom. Tokwe Aduroja, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Rogers, thank you. Elizabeth White, thank you. Thank you. Ademini, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Henry Obina Nwogu. Thank you. Josephine Odige Amusu. Thank you. Mayors Abe, Abe Ola. Thank you. Kisha Allen Dowuno. Dowuna. Thank you. Latifa Ayola. Welcome. Ujuloge Folashade. Thank you. Nathaniel Blessing. Boateng. Lion Martins. Josephine Odige Amusu. Ina Malema Wesley VK. Lucia Go Kusoya Sophie Fe Exiba Hm BC Akimbi Sayi Thank you Allah Musa Hida Demola Thank you Georgina Kozakti Kozajke Thank you Love you too guys Allah Wale Show Me Thank you Amatala Yekini Thank you Akwesi Adida Afri Thank you Bukola Shonukan Thank you I adore you. I will love you. We love you. I love you guys too. Lady Oluwa, thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Laya Martins, let's go to the point we are, why we are here today. We want to talk about the ten years illegal immigrants in the United Kingdom. There have been some WhatsApp been sending around like yo yo, disturbing my peace. 
you know, yesterday I spoke about it on my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, if you have not joined me, go and join Brightway Immigration and Asylum Practitioners there. If you have not joined, go and join and get the notification because so many times I'll be staying there to give information that is vital because I want to start making money from YouTube. You understand? I want to start making money from YouTube. So I'll be building my YouTube every day. Thank you. Thank you. You understand? Aaron Fizi, thank you. Thank you. Prince William Midigi, thank you. Lolo Arowolo Jennifer, thank you. Dobu Wumi, thank you. So I will be building my YouTube heavily. That is the advice from the superior, from those who are designers and website experts. You understand? I will be using my YouTube heavily this time around. But having said that, you are very important to me. So I want you to move as well. So as soon as you are liking like, uh, Facebook here, talking about like, but go and like Bright Immigration and Asylum Practitioners. Go and join YouTube where we finish from here. Because there will be information that will be there that I will not bring back here again. But I listened to some advice. That's why I came back to give you this. Because what I want to say here is already on YouTube. Already on YouTube. And those who benefit YouTube are those who are non-Nigerians. They are there all the time enjoying it like Nollywood. They told me already they are relaxing and enjoying it. In fact, they use popcorn and wine or, or water or whatever drink to enjoy me in the evening. Fantastic at YouTube. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the truth must be spoken and it must be told. <laughs> Lion Martins, exactly. I trust you. Fizzy, okay, Anthony, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. God will bless all of you as you are doing that for me. God will bless you. You will not live alone. You will not do anything alone in this world. You will always have helper in Jesus' name. But let's go to the point straight away. The point here is that the 10 year illegal immigrant WhatsApp that people have been sending around, let me debunk it. It is not true. It's calm. And it's a way for you to lose your money again. You can talk about the one I put on my platform that people are fighting and, and challenging each other on tribe, on religion, reason. Let us start using common sense. We have a good education background. When you have good educational background, the next thing is to apply it common, with common sense. In anything we do in life is wisdom. The 10-year illegal immigrant thing that they put out there, it is not true. It's calm. Now, the website you guys use, that you guys saw, or the, the phone number they sent to you, or whatever they sent to you, that you guys are following, let me now quickly assist you if I have not taken that silly website off yesterday. I think I have taken the silly website off because I saw the website yesterday and I read it carefully. Now, they too, they don't have the audacity to tell you categorically that you should come and apply for 10 years uh, res permanent residence if you, are or be, you have been unlawful in the United Kingdom. They don't have the audacity because they will be facing, crim uh, they will be facing criminal uh, um, sanction and therefore they probably will be facing prison for it because they are giving information that is not true and they are affecting the government's work because that is government law, rules and regulation. Now let's go over it quickly. 10 years illegal immigrants in the UK, it is not true. It is not true for you to get indefinite leave to remain on 10 years. If common sense will prevail, you will know that 14 years long residence was cancelled in 2012. And ever since that 12, uh, 14 years long residence cancelled in 2012, it was only replaced by ordinary limited leave to remain for 20 years, for those who have been here 20 years on long residence. So if you have been here for lo on long residence, 20 years is what you need to calculate. If you're single, you're not married, and you have not caught, they have not caught across you or come across you, in your journey so it is wrong information it is not true it's i had to i need to debunk it <clears throat> don't put your money into it because you're going to fall foul yes thank you don't put your money to it because you're going to fall foul and the reason why i said this is that i've checked the rules and the guidance the law remain as it is now the website you guys are following i managed to grab it yesterday but mother i don't lose it and I read it carefully. They, they are not up to it in this heaven to come out and say, come and apply 10 years. It's a lie. The set P form that sent out yesterday or since God knows, God knows, almost a week I've been receiving that nonsense. What's up? The set P1 is for those who are claiming 10 years long residence lawfully. For example, for students that have been around for 10 years, that is the new form they will use. It's a new form that's only been introduced this year. So that form is not because they did not introduce that form for the benefit of those who are 10 years illegally in the UK. 
There is nothing for 10 years illegally on its own unless you have a child that has British passport or a partner that got British passport. If you don't have any of those and you are 10 years unlawfully, you could be at risk facing deportation. You could be at risk. So, start the journey very well, all of you. Start filling the application and asking government to come and give you the indefinite leave to remain. The next thing you will see is a notice to remove you from United Kingdom. Quote my word. I don't go to detention work anymore because it's a waste of time. So I will not even answer you. Detention work, I will not even answer you because it's a waste of time. So I will not waste my time on it. It's good for those who have legal aid. So they can follow it on like that. If they want to follow it on. So the point is, if you fill in that 10 years, said P and send it to home office. You are now a festival mate. And as such, you will be used for that festival. That festival, it is nothing more than deportation or removal. So get it right now. Samson Akiola, thank you. Get it right now. The information, it is not true. So by you filling that form, you are telling the Secretary of State for the Home Department that you are ready to go home. Because you are only 10 years in the UK, you don't have family ties in the United Kingdom. So there is nothing for you to take here. You will be facing home smoothly. It doesn't cost the government of this country to pay for your ticket. It could cost the one. It's cheap. But by filling that form, you have told the Secretary of State. And look at the way they want to, tell, they want to get you into it. They told you that the form is free, but you are going to pay lawyer's fee. Common sense. How can permanent residence form be free when government charge 2,300 and something, 2,300 and something, or 2,200 and something pound or need? How can, the, how can that form be free? For God's sake. Now, they send that form at life to all of you. And you know Nigerians, you are very funny, especially you Nigerians. You are very, 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 very funny. You are disseminating information that you are not in control of. You didn't investigate it. Yeah, you didn't investigate it. You didn't check it. You are not illiterate. And you are just disseminating it and passing the WhatsApp around and confusing yourself, confusing others. Why would you be doing that? It doesn't make sense to me. And at the end of the day, if they cheat you or they scam you now, they took 10,000 from you or 8,000 pounds, you will be coming out and start sending us and say, the, the video I put out there, I was listening to your conversation, how you guys exchange words. I'm still coming to talk on, about that one, but I don't have the time now. The one that brought me out now, because I don't want people to send me that WhatsApp anymore, is to tell you that the information is not real. It's fake. So stop believing in something that is not real. If anything is going to happen, you will know smoothly through applications. You will know through the news. How can government release it like that? When 12, 14 years was cancelled in 2012? Yes. Confusing. Why would that be confusing for? Egbami? Why are you confusing yourself every time? You are not illiterate. You are well read. Yes, you are not illiterate. You are well read. Well read. An average of those people that are receiving that information and taking it as priority, they have first degree. What is the point of that first degree that you have? It's to educate yourself, to enlighten yourself, to socialize yourself, to move with people, to communicate at any level. That's the whole idea of having that higher qualification. First degree. But it appears that people have that qualification. They did not even make use of it just because they don't have papers. They have now lose hope. Up can only be lo lost if you have gone to the eternity. And that time, you don't know what is happening in this world anymore. But apart from that, please, <laughs> it is not true. So nothing is because of Brexit. Brexit means that it's going to be more tighter. Eh? They are going to tighten it. It's going to be more tightening, more difficult when Brexit comes in. So nothing can be, can be, can be, can, can be softened because of Brexit. You should calculate it carefully. If, God, if government wants to continue to soften it, Brexit wouldn't have succeeded. It wouldn't have taken place in the first instance. So since people have voted to leave, we are leaving. But not because of that they are going to say 13 years, Ramagba, indefinite leave to remain. Indefinite leave to remain. Long, long. That is the highest. And it cannot be taken anyhow from anybody. You have to follow the procedure Wait for your time before you can get it. Now, what the law says about 10 years, 
is people that have been renewed continuously. For example, students or those who moved from five years residence card and now had two and a half years, two and a half years twice without a break during that 10, 10 years period. They can ask for lawful uh, indefinite leave to remain and they have to use that set P because they come under that, that status. So they will use set P. So they have five years residence card. It means that when they are coming from home, they came with a visa and they never run out of that visa when they apply for that five year residence card under their sister, their brother, their wife, their whatever. And they were duly granted. After which then something happened, they changed to two and a half years parents' route. Two and a half years, two and a half years without a break. Of course, you'll be able to apply for indefinite leave to remain if there is continuity of that 10 years being lawful throughout since you step into the United Kingdom. Students also will have the opportunity. If student has had five years of leave to remain as a student and now have a child and then apply under that child, it will come under two and a half years, five years route. At the end of the second time of that route, that student will be able to apply for indefinite leave to remain. That is 10 years. But if anyone has overstayed their status and they are single, they don't have family life, they will have to co consecutively wait until they manage to spe uh, spend 20 years. And with the 20 years, it will have to mean that they have not stepped on the government's toes or the stakeholders' toes as well. And the stake part of the stakeholders, apart from home office, is police. Yes. So if you have had bad relationship with police in the past, they have come, they have seen you, they have checked you, something went wrong, then you are down. Yes. So the good record breaks straight away, and then you are up for it. So you will not be able to use a 10 years route because something has happened that brought you close to the police, and that has breaked your good character record, and that can affect your indefinite leave to remain. But on the verge of fit to talk about the 10 years illegal immigrant, there is nothing inside the guidance that says you can do so. Don't fall foul. Please share this video if they are asking and they are fighting and argue. Tell them simple English. I, Leia Tokumbo Olabaya, I stand corrected. And I said it categorically, nothing inside the rules that says illegal immigrant living in the UK for 10 years can apply for permanent residence or indefinite leave to remain, rather. You can't. You have to have a family life or meet the requirements under private rules. Most especially family life under a child that has British passport or under a partner. A child must be under, say, under 18, not a child that is 18 years old. So if you have a child that is 18, you're not going to be able to benefit from it. And that is it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is all I came out to debunk and to talk about. Now, before I leave, please comment with this thing that I want to say. Those who know me very well, you will agree with me that I am not religious bias. I am not religious bias. Those who know me very well. When the information sent out to you, if you don't know how to say thank you, please don't comment wrongly on WhatsApp or anywhere to me because I will block you off. Don't make wrong comments to me because I'm only helping you guys and I, and I don't stand to take nonsense from anybody because I don't have nonsense to give you as well. And when I come to give you out information, it's either you take it or you delete it if, it if you think that you hate your God, not my God. But don't come out to tell me that I am religious bias. I think it's an insult. Now, when we sent out the video about the one out there, I wasn't the one that got the name of the person. I wasn't the one that even had the video from the beginning. The video came to me and said, Mrs. Olagbaye, please help us to put it out there. I took the video, I tried, I searched it, I looked at it very well, and I knew it was right for me to put the video out there. And that's the reason why I put the video out there. Now, somebody is so out of common sense and lost the grip of understanding of life and help, humanity work, that person sent me a WhatsApp telling me that even though he likes my work, he likes everything, but he thinks I hate Muslim. Now, to all of you that are my Muslim friends there, have you ever seen me behaving that I hate Muslim ever? Even in Nigeria on Fridays, I dress to cover up. 
Even sometimes in England, I turban my head. Even when I went to the country that is so Muslim in, in Qatar, I played the game along. I covered my head. When I went to Israel on RG for, for Christianity, I went to mosque where Ibrahim was laid, which is Abraham, where Musa was laid, which is Moses. I went there and Yisa was where. I went there and Sarah. I went there. I covered my head in that mosque, washed my feet, washed my leg, take off my shoes. I went to, to the place and I was in a, a mosque there sitting down and making prayer to my God at Bethlehem. So I, I am so surprised that sometimes people stood low. They don't know how to talk to someone of my caliber. Although I am not perfect, but when it comes to critics on religious issue, please wait carefully before you speak out to me. Wait carefully. Even to talk about the pastors now, I am not interested about it anymore. Because God is the only person that can judge every one of us at the end of the day. And in Toban Shere Komashe, and Toban Sheka Komashe, or Lord on the Kalabal Lushe Olusbejo, or Lord on the Kalomashe Jokun Bubuwa. Do you understand? It is only God that will judge all of us at the end of the day. I can't judge anyone because I was not given the instrument to judge. But the thing you should be aware of is that if you're close to me and I find your fault, you are dead. I am not perfect, but if you're a pastor or a pastorate or a prophet or a prophetess and you're close to me and I found your fault, I'm a bit at body. But other than that, it is not my duty to judge them. Because you need them, you go to them. If you don't need them, you don't go to them. But when it comes to religion bias, prejudice on religion matter, I hate it with passion. Because those are the things that is destroying our world. So please, people, don't let us open our mouth and use it carelessly about religion issue. All this problem in the world is about bias. It's about religion bias. It's because some countries are biased against the other. And that's why set of people set themselves up to start doing whatever it is against the wishes of God or the wishes of, of everybody in, in the world. And they were not told. They were just being biased. And it's because they believe that people don't like them. So please, please. So it, please, let us be careful with what we say. Okay? Let us be careful. Okay? Let us just be careful. It is not true that they are granting 10 years. Okay, madam, madam, whatever is asking me a question there. It is not true. It is a lie. It is not true. I have just said it now. It is a lie. It is not true. Please don't fall foul. Shalla <laughs> Richmond Ferreira, Edariji Wama, my sister. No, no, I'm not offended. I am just trying to correct the person. It's, it's, you know, sometimes people talk, they don't know how to talk. Oh, send me no WhatsApp, and she, he told me that he followed me closely. He loves my work, he loves my presentation, but he think I am biased in religion, religious bias. I hate Muslim. How dear can, can somebody say that I hate Muslim? Is it not my Muslim people that took me down to Manchester? The way they treated me, the way they look after me. Can you Christian ever look after me like that? What they paid me, what they did with me. Ever since you pastors, everybody have been taking me along. along. Have you even looked after me in that manner? I'm going to be like Germany nightclub. I'm going to be like restaurant. I'm going to wish everything for me. I want to sell for me. I want to sell tickets. I want to sell for me. They paid my money before I even arrived. And they are all allergies, allergies. Listen, I don't talk about religion. And I don't want you to step on toes because I am still coming for another thing. People going to bend little bit, but to get interview, the way Tony Casey, but me, it's all in Tony Nissen. But any Tony, you're not attacking your line, you're bang banning. That is all right, but she interviewed, but they're already called the same thing. Only all one, dear, dear, that's the game of one on the Bubasoro to be a key fair believer. So, not already called one. They will get go ahead, be shaking Lord the Bonke, or then came man looking Lord the Bonke or again. Marshy Sonic by any getting back by the day, but me only for any clue and to Jenison. A young lion at Patakini. A man sorrow, I can name information law, and it's very bad. If we don't have information for God's sake, don't let us open our mouth and talk. Social media does not mean that social media we should create enmity for ourselves. It means that we can create friendship, we can meet other uh, people. There are many people that have met through social media. Don't take advantage of the necessary of my genuity. I am genuine. But don't take advantage of me. Today, I'm talking about Teokani with Malay. I read Jaoka. 
So don't take advantage. I am giving the information from the bottom of my heart with passion. Truthfully, I loved what I am doing. It is not about money every time. But I will not take insult from anybody. And please, I can demarcate a line. I could draw a line here. I draw my lines. I won't get involved on your platform or on your WhatsApp or talk to you anyhow. Please, when you have information from me, you don't like it, just delete it. I am not going to send the WhatsApp information unless it's very important. All I do is Facebook and YouTube. I don't send WhatsApp all the time. I only send WhatsApp occasionally when I know that the problem on WhatsApp is getting too much. When I receive information, then I reply back through WhatsApp. Other than that, there is no time for me. Let me mess me up. Was too low. That must send the information was that be fine bara. I don't do fine bara. Lawyer and me don't miss it up. I am a solicitor. So I know what I'm doing. I know my level. I know the code of conduct. I know the ethics of the profession and I know how to court it. I am not the only one that is publicly doing this work. But I do our location to Jakadi. No shame. And that's what I want to say to all of us, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to be stuck. You know, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you, but I've got to, I've got to go now. I've got to go. I've got to go. But like I said on the illegal immigrant uh, grant of status, it is not, it's not true. It's fake, and don't fall for it. Kokishoto irone, so ema shubu fun. Toteba shubu, umu alidi elati di deo. But I've got to go now. I've got to go. I've got to go. But it's still happening within the government sector home office if you meet the requirement we will put in the application if you don't meet the requirement we will not be able to help you we will have to advise you alternative and that's it just wanted to have i find that if you have lived here for 15 years and you have a daughter with a british person yeah eternity or morogui of course get consultation from my office 0208309808 yeah if you have been here 15 years and you have a british daughter yeah yeah yeah, you're on track. Okay, you're on track, you're online, so you shouldn't have any problem on that. Yes, you're on track and you're online, so you shouldn't have any problem in relation to that. I've got to go now, ladies and gentlemen. I love you guys, I love your support. To all those of you that believe in my work, I won't let you down, no matter what. I will not let you down. The truth will always be dished out. I will not let you down. To those who are referring to me all the time and say, go to her, she will tell you the truth. You will never lack. Whatever you lay your hand upon, it shall be prosper. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. All of you, you will not use your hand to bury your kids. Me too, I will not use my hand to bury my kids. And if anybody have it in mind, let it back to them, back to sender. I mean, and I will not die in the presence of my family, my parents. Much love to you for Laku Midaria and Nikemi. Turn it to Thank you, my dear. Josephine. Thank you. Boss of Sagi. Thank you. Elijah Gafag being a Yuliki. Thank you. I need more Sari or more. I only for Joe Lodula and she shall follow me, Jay. I only need for Gua Bawaja. I only tell you Gua Bafuma. And if you do go out there, no, Mara, you need to go out there. One if you want to see a film, one if you want to see a cinema, and it has its own, and it has its own show and video. Online, no can, 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 online, no can. I might be a jadi, a boba, but she could join with the ruto. Man, man, I'm so glad to see. I'm a she. I'm a lawyer. I'm a judge. I soak all of you in the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of blood of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. 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 Anointing continue to fall on you. Halaji Gafla. Anointing continue to be upon you. Whether you are Muslim or Christian, what you need is anointing of the Lord. Once you have anointing, you can do anything. Body Are you online? Yes, you can see me online now. Yes. Yeah, you can see me. Thank you guys for responding to my prayer. Yes. Much love. JMK Good Heritage. Welcome. You guys are just coming on. God bless you. I watch you from Massachusetts in USA. I have referred to you to my friends in UK. Ma. I love you as well. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Thank you for the referrals. Thank you. God bless you. Without you, I cannot do it. 
you're watching, you're viewing, you're sending people, your prayers, your everything, keep me going. I appreciate those shepherds that I met on, on Sunday at Tourism in Bukum Parish. Those shepherds said, we, are, we don't comment, but we are watching you closely. I appreciate all of you. More anointing to all of you, sirs. More anointing to all those shepherds. More anointing. And to all those in my mom, that mother, 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 yeah, 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 attack by the Bless you all. Bless you all. Bless you. I thank all of you. I thank you for your support. Thank you. It's all white. Thank you. And Nabuli Monday earlier. Thank you. Shala Kiyami, thank you. Adi Allah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Romans Okonko, God bless you as well. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Esa Omoye. Thank you. Pami Dede Daramala, thank you. Cheers and testers, thank you. Like Betai Wester, thank you. Valo Joe, thank you. Thank you. Pami Dede Daramala, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Cliff Agama, thank Thanks to all of you. We have concluded that there is nothing called 10 years illegal immigrant um, indefinite leave to remain grant of status in the UK unless you meet one of the requirements under parents' route or partner route. Other than that, the 10 years is lawful for those who have been renewed continuously who have never been breached of the immigration rules. So that's the conclusion on that, on the reason why I came on the board today. So I want to appreciate all of you. Thanks to all of you. Fantastic. I did want to thank you. Sheriff, thank you. I love Jed. Thank you. Ashiwa Jola Body Muscle. Thank you. Fedola Potinobu. Thank you. Fala Kumi Anike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, guys. I am in the United Kingdom live and direct for now. But me, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be to do it. Only God knows what I, where I will be tomorrow. I don't have control of where I go to. God got my back. Got the control. Oliver me bukun oluwa thank you. Juma ke olagun do you thank you for lak for lakun me. I have to go now, ladies and gentlemen. Love, thank you. You can see I'm in my office, so you can see that's my office. You know, so you don't have to, you don't have to tell you otherwise. Of course, I'm in the office. Where would I be? You know, one bit at in jail will lower. You know, you see the files. I have them there at large. So yes, I'm in my office. Thank you. But I've got to go now. Bless you guys. Bless you.